really any of these uh, options at all. So that's the good news. Um, I will say the next two or three minutes in this video are going to be the most technical bits that we'll have to do. And after that, it'll get a lot easier. So the next bit is not particularly difficult, but it's just confusing, I think, the first time you you do it. Uh, it's definitely confused me. But just try and follow along, and um, we'll just get this set up. It's just something that we need to do, that we only have to do once and then never do again. So what we need to do is actually do something called transfer name servers. Now, horrible jargon, I know. Um, but basically, all we, all we do is scroll down in the um, uh, hosting cPanel account, and right here at the bottom you get some um, uh, account information and it's these two lines here that we're interested in so look for where it says name servers and what we need to do with these we need to go and tell Namecheap remember the company that we actually registered our domain name with we need to go and tell Namecheap about uh, this information okay uh, so what we're going to do is go back to Namecheap now. I'm going to open a new tab and we'll go to Namecheap. I'm going to log in at the top here. Okay, so I'm just going to enter my username and password. And click log in. Okay, so you should see a, a page similar to this when you log into Namecheap. Uh, you can see up here I've actually got 16 domains in my account, but you should just have the one that we've just registered for you. And uh, if you just click on View, okay, and then um, in the list of domains down here, um, I've, I've blurred these out because I, I don't want to warp the traffic statistics by people going to uh, going to these domains but in this list you will find um, your actual domain that you've just registered so I need to go to the next page and uh, here we go robcornishonline.com so when you click through you'll get all the domain information uh, for the domain that you've just registered now there's only one thing that we need to do and that is uh, go over to the left and uh, choose this option which is transfer DNS to web host okay so these are the domain name servers that's DNS that I was talking about don't need to worry about what these are I don't really fully understand it myself um, you know I'm more interested in the marketing to be honest than all the technical details but it's just something that we need to do we only need to do it once so click on transfer DNS to web host okay and then you'll get this list here and all we need to do is just copy the information from HostGator into these boxes so I'm going to go back to HostGator in my other tab and copy uh, these name servers that's the first one copy and paste I'm just doing control C and control V uh, to copy and paste okay so I've put those in uh, there and we've got specify custom DNS servers selected. It's all very technical, I know, but um, honestly, we just have to do it once. And then all we've got to do is just click save changes. Okay, brilliant. And um, that has absolutely worked. And if it's worked for you, you should also see this option here is now changed to transfer DNS back to us that's all we need to do it's done okay so I'm going to log out of here and um, we're going to go back to our HostGator account okay so the good news is that the hard bit is out of the way we're now ready to move on to the final stage step three which is all about actually building our website now before we do that let's just go and take a look at our website and see what it looks like so I'm going to open a new tab and just go back to robcornishonline.com and this is what you should see index of forward slash and some other information now if you don't see this at this point don't worry it doesn't mean you've done anything wrong it's that all, all it means is actually the last step that we did with those name servers can actually take um, quite a bit of time sometimes to go through to work um, and in 
you know, past experience tells me it can be anywhere between just a, a minute or so, uh, very happen very quickly, um, up to even 24 hours. So it may be, if you're quite unlucky, you're going to have to wait until the next day to uh, complete the following steps that we're going to talk about now. But uh, don't worry, it's just a matter of time, it's, and, and there's nothing really that you can do to make it um, work quicker. But what we're looking for is just this index of forward slash page. Once you see that, you can now take the next steps to build your website. So we're in that position, we can go forward. So we're going to jump back to HostGator and actually uh, go and install the software to build our site. Now to do that we can scroll down and look for this software and services section and choose this first icon which is labelled quick install. Now these are all di different pieces of software that you can install uh, on your website if you want to. Um, most of them you'll probably never ever use but the really important one that we are going to use and that uh, you do need to know about is WordPress. Now you may have heard of WordPress before, it was originally developed as a blogging platform but what's happened in recent years is it, it, it's become really really widespread, loads of people are using it and uh, it's incredibly versatile so it's possible to build websites which really don't look anything like blogs at all. So don't worry if you if you want uh, if you have something in mind for how your website you want your website to look then it, the chances are that WordPress will be the right tool for you it's not just for building blogs but but for us today we're going to just install WordPress and um, just do a little bit of uh, customization the other thing to say is it's totally free as well which is the other um, great uh, point about it I suppose so let's click on this WordPress um, icon and uh, we just need to click continue okay now you know I've got lots of websites here um, so I'm just going to select uh, if I can find it Rob Cornish online which is here so you just need to make sure your website is selected um, in this box and then um, put your email address in and um, your blog title I'm just going to put um, uh, Rob Cornish online and your first name and last name. Now if you want to you can use a pen name here you don't have to use your real name it's up to you but for me I'm just going to keep it um, keep it simple. So next step just cl click install now. Okay and it just takes a few seconds to install. Brilliant so congratulations your installation is ready. So if we jump back to our um, other tab where we were looking at the website and I'm just going to click on the refresh button here brilliant and here is our sort of um, blank template for our new website okay so the next step is to actually go and check your inbox because you will have received an email from WordPress with your username and password and you need that username and password to, in order to log in to your website so if you're following along then you might want to pause the video at this point and actually go and do that but um, through the magic of video editing I've actually done just done that believe it or not so I'm ready to go ahead and log in so when you are as well you can come down here and click on login uh, this link and uh, just enter the details that you were sent so I'm going to do that and click in, click on log in here okay brilliant and we get taken through to the back end of our website and this what you're looking at here is what's known as the WordPress admin panel so this is where all the changes um, happen to the look and feel of your website and if you want to add content whether it's articles or posts um, or uh, pictures videos anything like that it all happens here. Now um, it's quite overwhelming the first time you see it but it's actually really logically laid out and as you go forward you'll become more and more familiar with this and um, tell it's really second nature I think. So I'm not going to show you um, obviously everything uh, here today because it'll just take too long, uh, the video will be too long but um, I'd like to show you a couple of, of two or three things I think um, just so to help you um, get your website um, looking a, li a little bit more uh, how the way you want it to look. So 
first thing to do, um, let's go and change our password because um, when you uh, install WordPress you get emailed a horrible sort of randomly generated password and it's, it's a good idea to change that first of all to something that's a little bit more memorable. So the way you do that is you can come down here, these are all the sort of different um, areas with inside your admin panel and the one we're really looking for now is t is the users uh, section so I'm just going to click on users here on the left hand side okay now there'll just be one user at the moment and um, that'll be uh, the role is administrator so that's you uh, this was created when you in first installed WordPress and uh, to change the password we can go through and just click on this edit button here okay now if you want to in your profile page here you can add your name and uh, biographical information if you want to um, but all I want to really do today is change the password so right here at the bottom I can just enter my new password it's a good idea to make it strong so we can keep the uh, hackers out okay and um, I'm going to click on update profile brilliant so user updated it says here at the top so next time you log in just use your new password alright so the next thing I want to do is actually just make a few changes to the title and taglines of the website so let's take a look at uh, what our website looks like right now um, so the easiest way to do that is to go up here to this link and uh, this will take us to um, the website itself, what it looks like to the public, to any visitors that come uh, come to the website. Uh, now what I like to do is just right click and then go and open uh, this link in new tab. Okay, so we get a new tab and uh, here is our current website which of course we've seen already. Now the title is this Rob Cornish Online which of course I, I typed in when we actually installed WordPress and the tagline is this just another WordPress site so I'd like to change just modify both of those so I'll show you how to go and do that right now okay so we go back into the admin area and uh, we need to scroll down and just go to this settings um, section here and if this isn't expanded then you can just click on the expand and collapse um, down arrow here but we need to go to settings and general okay so I'm going to click on that okay and we can see the site title is up here and I'm going to just change this to um, I'm going to put a bar in and I'm going to do internet marketing okay so if we go down and click um, save changes okay so it says settings saved brilliant we go back to that our other tab and have a look at our website of course we've got the old title here but if I click refresh or reload the page great so we can see I've just changed the title so let's do the same now for the tagline okay so the tagline is here and I'm going to put um, how to start and grow whoops your online business okay and again at the bottom I'll click save changes all right settings saved back to the website and refresh brilliant so I've got a new title and my preferred tag